Good day to you all. I'm Alec. Alec Bourne. I'm the creator of the Line 6 Media Band Scientist Club, Wazir Air Club, Storm and Rhythm Club, and as of this morning, Thomas at CME has asked me to become a moderator here in the group. And I'm the guy that did all of the beta testing on this side of the world. I'm here in Italy. Give you proof of Italy. There we go. And as a moderator here, I will be very happy to answer your questions. Um, let's get something straight. You're going to be asking about shipping. Not me. Not my thing. But I've been playing with these things for a while, and they're pretty incredible. I really love seeing all the different usage cases that are coming on, and I'm super excited today because I have taken my boards give you a little background. The reason why I wanted these things is because I have four or five different guitar pedals, old MIDI, and I can never get them into a board that I want. I'm always chopping and changing and shifting stuff around. So for me, the point to multi-point MIDI that is coming up with the CMEs is going to be the big, big thing. Let me shift you off upstairs. If Aaron Short's watching this, be, be aware there may be semi-bare feet. Go have a cold shower or something, mate. But yeah. Today. Hooked him up instead of a long MIDI cable that I had. And boom, I have one helix floor sitting off by itself. No sound passing through it. Controlling an entire other MIDI rig. So, you know, bit by bit, things are coming along. Big hello to y'all. Welcome to the group. If you're doing guitar stuff, hook me up. You know, I'll be happy to help you out if I can. I'm no expert in these things. Um, my buddy, Andrew Bonica, who was an X-Line 6 bigwig with Variax and all kinds of stuff, and also happens to be a keyboardist, can probably help you if you're in the time zone of California and all that. So I'm doing Europe. He's over there. Hopefully we can give you some, you know, resources or basic help with stuff or point you in the right direction and see what's going on. So, as yours come in, get busy. I would encourage you to make videos. I started up a YouTube channel for the hell of it and storing all of my different experiments in there. So, if you like that stuff or you want to get notes or find stuff, go subscribe in my YouTube channel. Andrew's got one where he's doing all kinds of fun experiments. Go check out his. And hopefully the pair of us can shed some light on the joys that are wireless MIDI. Heading upstairs, you can see this thing working. Good morning. Hello folks. Hey. So, you may not believe this, but I'm doing an experiment. I'm doing up here is laying out a standalone board. Listen to all that. Let's turn off that. Now I'm going to switch boards. Turn stuff on and off here. But also from here. And note, no wires, Mom. So, very nice feeding the helix here. Witty 1 is going to Witty 2. And this is my normal board. So, I can come here and plug in another guitar or disconnect this. Boom. The live setup. So now the guitar is going straight there. 
about remote control. And this is great because what I'm looking to do is one, have a travel board, then have the home big board. And when I get home, just plug these over in here. Boom. Jack in with this, and I can go straight into composing mode. Which I think you'll agree is very cool. Six Mini Mad Scientist Club, Strymon Iridium Owners Group, Closet Era Groups, and as of today, moderator for these wonderful little wiggies. I've been uh, testing these for a while. The pair that you see are the original prototypes, and as you can see, a stuff. So happy to. Uh, Hopefully serve something in the community. See ya.